Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit a webinar. So first of all, what is a webinar? A webinar is an online class, an online event, an online seminar, whatever you want to call it, it's an online workshop that you can attend live. Now during these webinars, most of the time you focus and learn about one specific topic. Now if you're the webinar host, you provide a lot of value throughout the online event. So you might say to yourself, well, I've recorded this webinar, so I actually want to share some of the value to my social media platforms to create content. So this is exactly what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you how you can edit a webinar, pick out the pieces that you think are valuable pieces of, let's say, one minute content that we could share on our Instagram profile. And the tool we're going to be using to do this is an online video editor called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D. If not, the link's going to be in the description down below as usual. Now, once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button. Once we've clicked the new project button, and now what we want to do is actually upload our our webinar recording. So to do this, we click on the upload video button. And now we're going to go through our documents and find our webinar. So as an example webinar, I have a video of me from a while ago explaining Instagram story ads and how to use them. And obviously throughout this video, I provide a lot of value. So as we can see now, it's uploaded within Veeds editor. And if I click on play, What's up guys, Alec here, and today I'm gonna to be creating an Insta. As you can see, I have my 14 minute video. So the first thing we need to do is actually watch our video and find the snippet that we think provides a lot of value that we could turn into an Instagram post. So go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna to skip to the next step. Okay, so I found a snippet that I want to turn into an Instagram post, and here it is. Specific mobile devices and operate. Right here, so at six, let's just say 6.45 in my video. What I'm gonna do now, just to mark this area where it starts, I'm actually gonna select the clip, and then I'm just gonna click the split button. So now what this does is it will allow me to delete the first half of the video, and if I click and drag this back to the beginning, the beginning of my video is now the beginning of where I start to provide value for my Instagram post. So if I click play, when it says specific mobile devices and operating system. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna to go to the end of where I stop providing value on this specific subject. So if I go here, if I click play, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Perfect, okay, and now it ends at 44 seconds. So there's two ways we could do this. We could either just click and drag on the clip to trim off the end, or we could do the same that we've just done, select the clip, hit the split tool, and then just delete the second half. So now I have my 44 second clip that we're gonna turn into an Instagram post. And the first thing I'm just gonna do is actually click on fit to screen, and this will just allow me to browse through my video with more precision. Okay, so now once we have the exact section that we're turning into an Instagram post, the first thing we're going to do is actually change the aspect ratio. And to do this, we're just going to select our clip and under the project tab, we have the canvas size drop down menu. And in here, we have a bunch of different social media aspect ratios that we can choose from. And if we're turning it into a square Instagram post, we're going to select the one by one aspect ratio. And then we're going to head over to the video tab and we're going to click on fit to frame. So the entire video fits in the square video canvas. Now, the first thing you might want to do as well here is actually change the background color. If you have a personal brand, you could choose your personal brand's main color, or you can just choose whichever color you want. I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here and what I might do as well is just quickly move this around on the actual video canvas and stretch it just a little bit but not so much that my face is cut off and the next thing we're going to do now is actually add some text so I want to add a title to my Instagram post and in the webinar I talk about choosing when connected to Wi-Fi over data for Instagram ads and I'm just going to call the post let's just say Instagram ads tip we'll do this right here I'm going to change the layout so it's centered I'm going to change the font to Anton. I'm going to change the color to white. Now I'm just going to click and drag it here. And I'm going to change the font size. We'll try 72. I'm going to try 96. Drag this out just like so. And just adjust it just like this. So now I have my title. And what I'm going to do is actually bring this up. There we go just like so. And now if I click play from the beginning, just to show you what it's looking like. There's specific mobile devices. As we can see, this is already looking like a decent Instagram post, but we're still missing a few elements. So next, what I want to do is actually add some subtitles. And with V, this is very easy to do. To add subtitles to my webinar, I'm gonna click on the subtitles tab, and I'm gonna use the auto subtitle tool to automatically transcribe all of the audio from my video into text. So if I select this, 
I then need to select the language that I'm talking in. So in this video, I'm talking in English and then I click on start. And now depending on the length of your video, Veed will automatically transcribe all of the audio from your video into subtitles. Okay, so as we can see now it's just finished and the subtitles have appeared in three different locations. We have them in the subtitle editor on the left. We have them on the video canvas here. And then at the bottom of the screen, we have them in the actual timeline. So as we can see, if I click through the video, I have the words for what I'm saying on the actual video canvas. So for an example here, if I place it here, I say, check their Instagram stories when they're like walking to the supermarket, something like that. So, so as you can see, the subtitles are pretty accurate. However, if there are some mistakes in them, it's very easy to edit them and change them. We can edit the text and we can also edit the time and duration. So for an example, in this one, if I want to put a capital letter up now, I just click on it in this text bubble and then change that. So now I say now up next, and then I'm gonna add a comma, very easy to do. And let's just say I want to change the timing of a subtitle or for an example here, we have a little subtitle that's had a bit of an issue. So what I could do is actually bring the playhead here and click on the beginning stopwatch. As you can see now it's been dragged out or I could just input the exact time on my keyboard that I want the subtitle to start appearing on the screen and to stop appearing on the screen. Now what I want to do, because as we can see, we have my subtitles right here, I want to change the actual styling of them. I don't want them to have this black box around. So first of all, I'm just gonna click and drag them down a little bit, place them here. I'm gonna click on the style tab in the subtitle editor. And here we can either edit them in detail or we can just choose a preset. So I like this preset right here. I'm gonna click and drag mine out a little bit so they take up more of the screen. And then something I want to mention as well is you can also change the letter spacing, the line height, and also the different type of style. For an example, the drop shadow here, I can change it to a different color. If I want some blue drop shadow, I can change it to this blue. If I want some yellow, I can change it to yellow, I can change it to red, but we're gonna leave it with the black drop shadow because that helps it stand out from the actual video. So now I've added my subtitles. The next thing I want to do is actually add a progress bar. So this will basically just show people roughly how long the video is and they'll be able to see roughly where they're at throughout the video because on Instagram, you don't have a playhead which you can scroll back and forth through. So what I'm gonna do is click on the elements tab right here. And now I'm gonna click on the progress bars. And if I click on add progress bar, here we have a progress bar that appears on the screen and I'm just gonna click and drag it just like all the other elements to move it around on the video canvas. And I'm just gonna place it, let's just say right here, just like so. I'm gonna make it maybe a little bit smaller and I wanna change the front color to pink so it matches the background. So now if I play it from the beginning. There's specific mobile devices and operating systems. Um, what you wanna do is all Okay, perfect. As we can see, the progress bar is moving forward with my video. If I place the playhead at roughly the middle, the progress bar is gonna be roughly at the middle. If I place it all the way at the end, the progress bar is gonna be all the way at the end. Now, I did notice another error that does need to be corrected with my subtitles. So I just need to write, so what you, and then we're gonna leave that there. So now it goes to, so what you want to do is, there you go. Now I'm not gonna go through and check all of the subtitles just for the purpose of this video, so it's not too long. But once you've added your progress bar, you've added text for your title, you've added subtitles, there's a few things you can do. For example, you could potentially add a filter or change the brightness and contrast of the actual video. You can go ahead and add some images. For example, if you're talking about a specific thing and you want the logo to pop up, you can easily do that and you can then change the duration. Let's just say if I add an image, I select the image that I want to upload. For example, I could select this one of me right here. I could then place it at the bottom of the screen, something like this. I'm just getting very creative now, just like this. And I could potentially edit the duration of this. So for an example, if I didn't want it to appear throughout the entire video, or if I only wanted it at the beginning, I could just click and drag it on the timeline like so, or again, enter the specific numbers in with my keyboard. So if I click and drag this all the way to here, this will only appear for the first exactly one second. So if I click play, when it says specific mobile devices, as you can see, I've now disappeared. You can also add some audio if you want some background music. You can speed up your video. You can draw on your video. This is very useful for webinars. But once you are happy with the video that you've created for your Instagram or any other social media platform that you're editing your webinar for, you can go ahead and click on publish. And once you've clicked on publish, Veed starts to render your video. And once it's finished rendering, you can then go ahead and download that video. And that is how to edit a webinar to provide value to your social media followers. Now, if you have any questions or feedback, I would love to hear them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.